Lech, lech, oh, oh, lech, 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 oh, oh. Wait, is the camera on? Welcome to the Cabo Jewish Center's video blog, Week of Lech Lecha. In the latest Cabo news, the world-famous Bisbee tournament has finally begun here in Cabo, and avid and rich. Fishermen from around the world are competing for the largest marlin catch, which could win them a few million dollars. Anybody up for a gefilte fish competition? Anyways, this week we read about the first Jew ever, Abraham. At age 75, God tells him to finally move out of his parents' home and live on his own. <laughs> Just kidding. God tells Abraham to leave his land, his birthplace, and the house of his father and travel to the place where God will show him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on there just a moment. Let's figure this thing out. Abraham is now 75 years old. He's gone through much of his life already and God is telling him all of a sudden to pick up and leave everything behind? Why is it necessary for Abraham to do such a drastic move, totally restructuring the entire life that he's built up until then? Abraham is the first Jew to ever have lived. His actions and lifestyle is what founded the Jewish people, the chosen nation. Therefore, his every move recorded in the Torah has great significance and meaning, especially to us, his descendants. We Jews are a very interesting people. Throughout the years, we've always always challenged the conventional way of living. It seems that trend setting and taking chances has always been part of the Jews' DNA. Just look at history and you'll see. We brought monotheism and morality to an idol-infested and corrupt world. Our Torah has brought the world some of the deepest and most profound thinkers of history. The Jewish people brought tremendous success and wealth to all the European countries that they inhabited throughout the ages. The Jews have a huge percentage of the greatest doctors, scientists, innovators during these modern times. You haven't been too successful at lumberjacking. Yeah, but we invented the potato cookle. And stuff. Of course our success is all thanks to God's blessing. But the unstoppable drive to move forward and become better is a direct inheritance from our forefather Abraham who went up against the entire world with his belief in one God. God tells Abraham to leave his land, birthplace, and house of his father. These three things in our life refer to society, habits, and family. Each of these three things tend to pull a person away from reaching his maximum capacity spiritually. Even nowadays, the society and the habits of the world tend to tell a person to watch another television show, relax for another 15 minutes, enjoy a cappuccino, and then blame the failure on somebody else. And family? Kabbalah teaches that the Jewish family, although it being a very... Um, I'm, I'm doing the weekly video for the community, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, sorry to bother you. No, 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 you could stay in the shot, that's fine. I guess people understand, I guess. Hello? I you get what I'm trying to say? Go to the land that I will show you, says God. The journey is constant. God ultimately knows exactly what's in store for us and where we're going. But everything that holds us back, we need to leave behind. It's in our DNA. We are the descendants of that first elderly man to leave everything behind and begin the quest of fulfilling the purpose for which he was created. The journey began with Abraham, has continued for thousands of years, and it's about to end. All that history is waiting for is for you to leave your comfort zone and fulfill one more mitzvah. This week, take the Torah's charge and go. Escape the limitations of society, your habits, and those people who hold you down, and allow yourself to make the difference. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom. Manny, two guys are walking away with their car's tires. Alright, I'm coming. Keep